Hello everyone and welcome back to our uh, play or uh, what do you call this? Our recorded playthrough sessions here in Solaris. So we are now doing again our second batch or second season of our role play gameplay. Now I haven't uh, finished the UNS. Uh, well, I'm still finishing it. It's near completion to be honest. And now we're starting on to a new. Um, a new empire here now I'm uh, I have a number of uh, empires here but I only came up with two right now but I'm going to maybe explore it later on for season 3 or uh, chapter 2 whatever you call it so for now I'm trying to play uh, the one that I've created right now the holy replicant empire which is I am still writing about the story about this one but basically the main gist of the story here is that humanity is already extinct and there are more like pseudo uh, descendants here the holy replicant empire is the successor of humanity or at least not exactly a successor but more like a, you know more like a succeeding species. Uh, this species origin is basically on the clone army, uh, a species of a short-lived. Uh, anyway, that's the part that I'm still writing at. Writing at, at the moment, uh, it's a theocratic dictatorship, uh, which is basically dictatorial. It has vaults of knowledge, ascensionists, authoritarian, militarist, and spiritualist ethics. So that's uh, the main characteristics of this empire. <coughs> Now, of course, my uh, gameplay here is uh, updated to the latest, uh, the latest update of Stellaris, which is 3.9, and uh, I have all the uh, what do you call this? The uh, all DLCs here. So, uh, since it's a new story, so we're just gonna keep it about large, just so just to make sure that my computer does not hang although I've already upgraded my computer from <laughs> compared to my previous gameplay where you can see that I still have a choppy graphics I kinda bought a new computer right now which is basically uh, hopefully has the twice uh, twice uh, better or twice the performance of my previous one so this will be my computer that I'll be using for now for all Stellaris gameplays oh, excuse me <coughs> so uh, yeah so it's a bit faster uh, so I'm I'm going to go for the default settings here the galaxy size is large spiral arms is 4 because it's gonna be the setting of a Milky Way and the advanced AI will just keep it at random 1 to 3 Fallen Empires is gonna be 4 and the Marauder Empires is gonna be random now when it comes to uh, the tech traditions and cost my last gameplay wasn't really that uh, what do you call this not really that uh, uh, not really that exciting because my uh, tech uh, what do you call this my uh, technology what do you call this uh, advancement was very very slow which I had a hard time uh, playing at because the uh, gameplay was uh, the progress was gameplay so it led to almost a near disaster but in any case so I'm just going to make some changes there uh, it's gonna be now uh, 0 0.5 so technology is a bit faster compared to my previous one I'm also writing at that uh, in connection with the story so the story here is still uh, uh, still being written to be honest I'm still uh, making out a story on how the clone army soldiers of humans would fit on the general narrative so I'm gonna fix the uh, habitable worlds uh, on my previous gameplay the habitable worlds was not really that uh, you know it's quite a bit lacking so we're just gonna maximize it uh, when it comes to pre FTL pre sapient species we'll probably go about 0 0.75 that's not gonna hurt now for crisis strength uh, I don't want to go to 25 because it's too strong we'll just half it around and of course for secure uh, for uh, just to make sure that uh, even though the crisis has already come or in case that the crisis is underwhelming I'm gonna select the crisis all because uh, you know the, the, the se if the first crisis was uh, very underwhelming perhaps the second crisis could give it a bit, a bit more challenge and a bit more good story so I'm just gonna keep it all just to be safe uh, the mid game starts with about 2300 in game starts will about uh, I don't know we're just gonna go for 25 percent uh, 25 years earlier rather than 50 years earlier so that would give a uh, some what do you call this um, 
a little bit of a challenge because last time I put it around 50 you know 50 years earlier I had a hard time so I'm gonna increase also the difficulty last time it was more like uh, end scene because I want it to be a little bit balanced because do take note that the uh, campaign here in Solaris have, having adding difficulty doesn't necessarily mean that the computer is better than you it only means that the computer is adding more cheat codes on its gameplay so for me uh, I think a little bit cheap code just only a little for the computer might help just to give it a little bit of a challenge or actually uh, I, I know it's a little bit of a handicap for me compared to my last gameplay but uh, I think captain well, gameplay would be sufficient enough I guess to keep it more interesting now the scaling difficulty uh, I don't know I could go for mid game uh, I guess mid game is not really that bad so difficulty ag adjusted AM modifiers I don't know this much this is kind of new that it was included so uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep it on. The aggressiveness will be high, so we have to keep our, uh, you know, our galaxy interesting. And the empire placements would be random. Uh, uh, well, uh, advanced neighbors would be off. Uh, hyperlane density, what's one? Abandoned gateways. I think we're gonna add this one to a little bit of, I guess, three. Because this is a successor state of humans. Or successor species of humans. So I'm going to... Uh, uh, and uh, this is something about the roleplay uh, plot itself when I finish this, this gameplay. Something about the stories about the humans being an ancient race. So uh, yeah, that's the reason why we have some. Uh, uh, we have to increase the abandoned gateway. It's kind of left as the part of the ruins. Uh, wormhole pairs, we could keep it to 0 0.25. I like to maximize the uh, habitable worlds as well. So Cavaniers, L Gates, yep, they're on. Uh, I could use some, uh, what do you call this? Some trade-offs or some traders. L Gates, uh, since it's the Milky Way, we're gonna put on the uh, L Gates. Um, no for Xeno compatibility because uh, Xeno compatibility it will make my computer hang. I, I don't, even though my computer is very new, I don't know what effect it will have if I keep it. Um, if I keep it on switched on so we don't want to uh, take those chances anyway so uh, okay uh, we have our growth ceiling just not exactly that maximum just a little bit back not exactly maximum but one step back we have uh, lots of pops so anyway with all the settings uh, ready we're going to start now our gameplay and hopefully we have a good position so let's just wait for this one Oh yeah, one more thing, uh, I would just like to tell that it's the same rules again, uh, I will be saving my gameplay every 30 minutes or so, and uh, this time I will be using a very different uh, type of recording, I will not be using an external uh, recording device like my cell phone, uh, just to get the audio on, I will be using now uh, the integrated, uh, I don't know, uh, I think plugins here from... Uh, from OBS so if there's a problem regarding the uh, plugins for the audio plugins for the OBS then I'll probably have to discontinue it and probably have to switch back to my uh, external recorder audio which is the cell phone but if the audio here is very nice and very clear I'll probably have to use this uh, after all my PC is uh, probably uh, my PC is brand new so I guess it has enough RAM to sustain or run uh, the OBS recorder and uh, playing Stellaris at the same time. So here we go. The ruler is Sapra Vegan. It's a theocratic uh, re dictatorship I mentioned earlier. It's a clone army. We were made for war. Engineer soldiers who live and die by the ancient clone vats left behind by our creators. Forever cast in their mold. Any memory of our masters is lost in past generations and we do not know when or why they left us. It is likely that records were routinely erased, ever faithful to military protocol. But at some point in recent centuries that changed by chance, or perhaps some missing survival instinct, our subconscious drove us to seek answers, to seek new purpose, and ways to break the, for the form imposed on us. Our efforts since then have been ceaseless, at long last granting us access to the grand expanse of space 
as our horizon widen, widens, so too must our knowledge. Uh, <coughs> sorry, so too must our uh, knowledge broaden. So uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, and our chances of breaking free increase. Okay, we shall not squander the possibilities given to us by our forebears. We shall fight to pass on these possibilities to future clones and fight to eliminate the restrictions placed on us. Blessings upon you, your holiness. I am Veer. Prototype <coughs> synthetic intelligence. That was quite a mouthful of a speech. Has ordained me to act as your faithful servant and advisor, so that I may aid you on our divine path to the stars. Okay, so uh, as a Wolper role, even though that this is a spiritualist empire, it doesn't necessarily mean that they do not allow AI. So uh, story-wise, of course, or lore-wise. So we're just gonna put this one as tell me everything. An excellent decision. You will have my full support. Okay, right. Being a star empire can be a daunting task. To help get things started, I will be Okay, so we're starting off a little bit on the, the edge of this uh, galaxy. ourselves as a successful interstellar power. Here is something that you perhaps didn't know. Yeah, yeah, okay. So here's the thing. Um, there's a lot of been changes on the recent... Uh, uh, recent... Uh, Stellaris uh, update uh, before before we don't have leader capacities but now we kind of have one so there's a lot of big changes because I've already played or my UNS uh, last playthrough was nearly at least two years ago or at least a year ago um, or something like that but the uh, thing here is that I missed uh, two gameplays on the most recent uh, update so Two DLCs have already passed since my uh, last game or my last game concluded. So we're starting uh, a new one, which is uh, this one. So there's a lot of uh, changes on uh, our gameplay here, but uh, yeah, let's see if I can still play the uh, the gameplay here on my playthrough quite well. Okay, so uh, what's this? Leader trait, uh, faction approval. Principal and Charisma. Well, we already got Charisma, so uh, we'll probably go with Politician here. Okay, got the Politician trait. Yeah, right. So, we gotta hire a new... Oh, wait, wait. The technology screen is where we will be directing... So, you must own head of research. Technologies are categorized into three different fields, uh. with each field typically having three available research options. Well, we're gonna go for Spark of Genius, uh, since he's a scientist first. Um, okay, so we're going to start with uh, energy grid, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I think this one's lower, so we'll take on we'll take on the one thousand here. For society, um, we need pop code speed. That's number one priority. Engineering, um, we'll go for this one. Okay, so we've already got to the set that up. Provides an overview of our leaders and lets us hire, dismiss, and manage them. Okay, right. Um, Junak Toros. Uh, what's this? Should I? Uh, you know. Well, would it be okay? Yes. Uh, Minister of Defense. Uh, hostility. Well, I, I have no idea what this. Probably will go with this one, Trickster. Okay, so I'm pretty new when it comes to this leader tab here. Um, like I said, I'm pretty new on this, so I, I, I'm not sure. I'll probably go for auto pick traits. It might be... Wait, wait, wait. Um, this is the thing. I'd rather not do auto pick traits because there's a possibility that my... Uh, my uh, computer or the AI here would sabotage my gameplay so I'll probably have to do that manually so okay so how's our uh, which is used to survey ship. astronomical objects such as planets in a star system a planet needs to be surveyed in order to make its resources visible okay so we're gonna assess this one with uh, automation probably survey yeah we're not gonna go for investigate or excavate and research just this one okay this is our this? ship which is used to construct space stations when an astronomical object such as a planet has been surveyed we can order this ship to military fleets are used to protect our emerging empire from threats or to expand our glorious rule through uh. force of arms if we so wish 
Okay, so there's a lot of things here that are kind of new time? that I uh, I'm still trying to, you know, memorize. Now that I've given command to our science, okay, yeah, understood. So this for now, our we're on Earth and the capital of our empire, the planet summary screen which we are currently looking at. Okay, so we still like the uh, energy credits here to remove this uh, to this uh, planetary feature. So uh, we'll just keep it that. So we're gonna have at least uh, we have three, three, three. So we're just gonna make the oh, we still have uh, oh, we still like that. Okay, fine with me. Okay, so let's just continue with our normal speed, or a little at least a little bit slowest right now because uh, making play is just quite new. <laughs> This is our system's star base. These upgradable stations mark star system ownership and are most often tasked with producing all types of ships to overcome the vast distances that... Yeah, of course. Uh, I have to select this one as slowest just to keep up with the time. But uh, we'll have to add uh, speed as, of course, our gameplay uh, <coughs> increases. So for now, uh, we'll just go with this slowest thing just so that I could uh, easily process my gameplay here or a little bit slow so for now we don't really have much minerals here um, I still have to wait 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 just give me a moment um, via the market screen we can buy and sell resources at first this is merely an internal market oh. but if enough empires established <laughs> sorry market, I expect they might form some sort of galactic market okay so that was quite tough anyway uh we have now our uh holy replicant ship Trok Hofal. i'm sorry this is since this is futuristic i could I, it, it's okay that we may, uh, do some uh weird names here it's more like a futuristic thing anyway so we got a lot of planets here it's mostly binary planets um Right, um, yeah, I forgot one thing. Uh, since this is a shipyard, I'll probably go construct a science vest. Yeah, I, I'm not sure that if that was the right thing anyway. But anyway, uh, let's, uh, uh, let's keep that, uh, thing. Okay, uh... Science ships has just surveyed a world that would make an excellent candidate for our first colony. It is of the same planet class as our home world, so our colonists should be quite comfortable there. Okay, as our science ship scans the surface of a Centauri 3, it becomes quite clear that we have found something out of uh, the ordinary. Okay, well that's okay. Discovery of alien life. The, okay, so we already have an alien life on other worlds. Uh, RSS Alchemy, the stunning Alpha Centauri. This amazing discovery has silenced those who believe... Okay. Uh, so for now, this is an entirely new story. Uh, like I said, I'm still thinking of how am I going to write this, but it is certainly, uh, you know, a good thing. All right, we'll buy this one so that we can have another uh, construction ship. Okay, uh, contacts of simpler forms of life. How the African is a bus with the use of alien organisms discovered at some time. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, holy replicant image abides with the news. Replicant te theologians have been painting in arcane rites since the first sign that divine providence extend outside of Earth, attempting to find new answers. Okay, that's good. So I'm just gonna pause this one. The tradition screen displays the tradition trees available to our empire. A tradition tree must first be adopted before any traditions within it can be unlocked. Oh, this is a new thing, altitude. I. What does this do? Guidance of strong leaders. Yeah, well, we'll probably have to do that later on. For now, we will go for prosperity. A good economy can support a good war. Or something like that. They have very new and lots of, uh, what do you call this? Uh... Huh. Synthetics. I'm not sure about this one. I'll probably go for cybernetics, but... But, 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 but... Uh, metabolic... We'll go first for prosperity. So... Mer prosperity, mercantile, and then we'll go for the usual warring staff. What's this M&T? 
Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for prosperity first. Unjilling and supremacy. Hmm. Okay, let's adapt this one. Council agenda available. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know what council agenda is right now. So, uh... Okay, uh, first contact profile. Our recent encounter with life forms has reignited and made sudden more urgent. The old debate on how we should approach contacting any. Well, I would probably be cautious. Uh, we are not gonna open them Z uh, because they might pose hostile. So this is more like pragmatism rather than religion or their uh, whatever you call it. So we'll go for being cautious. All right. Um, how do you access this? Uh, uh, right. Um, the situation log display have important. The victory screen lists certain conditions that we can. Okay, so we're currently at the bottom, but that's not surprising. So how about the government? The council screen is where we appoint the leaders who will guide us into the future. Their personalities and traits will oh. influence our empire for good and bad. Okay, so we can set agendas in order to focus their efforts in a specific area. Okay, so currently we have the matriarch, the minister of defense, uh, and uh, oh, he's just 12 years old. Uh, he must be Kun and Ford Ravun. So I'm going to explain it as well. How come uh, they have knowledge even though they're just only 14, 14, and 12 years old? So I have to explain this one as well, uh, lore wise. But anyway, well, let's try uh, the one thing. The policies tab covers government policies as well as empire-wide edicts, practices that can be enforced by spending some of our resources. Uh, well, um, wealth creation. Oh, so basically, just replace this one with uh, policies. Huh. Uh, veneration of the saints or fortify the border we'll probably go fortify the border it's much more easier so uh, the faction screen gives an overview okay so that's good oh okay so there's a new method here our fate must find comfort so we got unity we could go for influence we could go for I don't know what's this uh, I think we should go expand the council or wait so we have other agendas as well here and there's a lot but we're not gonna delve that because it's not available for us we could preserve the order, but for me, I'll go for expanding the council. <clears throat> or we could go with this one. All of it are very nice examples, but I uh, still have to think about this one. Well, anyway, for now, we'll just go with this, and then we'll make things up as we go along. Oppressive vassalage, we'll probably go for balanced vassalage. We're not really that bad, we're not really that good. Expansionist, yeah, we're gonna go for expansionist right now. Militarized economy, uh, yeah, because they're clone soldiers to begin with. But we'll go for mix, because so we could easily. Uh, now for borders, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll. Uh, well, for funny, we have uh, we have allowed it, so we're just gonna go with that allowed slavery is allowed um, yeah I think uh, we're gonna go for slavery but I'm not sure why it's not allowed here but anyway uh, yeah okay so uh, this one we don't have a leaders oh um yeah this is kind of bummer we still have to put a scientist here um yeah I, that's i think is the problem uh we have to hire a scientist even though it's not necessary that we should have one i mean we got limited number of slots so we can't spend those limited slots here 
like uh, all of them from six to all of it to scientists I guess this is one of the problem with the uh, current DLC right now the limitations on leaders I like it before where you get tons of leaders and uh, you know you get to pick a lot of it so you don't have problems in uh, you know exploration so we'll go for two Prataras. She, she seems to be more matured with this, but I don't have Unity right now, so uh, uh, kind of annoying with that. Okay. Well, uh, anyway, uh, let's continue on with our uh, gameplay here. Just uh, quite disappointing that um, that the science vessel here still needs some leaders in order to function. I was expecting that uh, at least we have only just a representative scientist here. So we don't have any more scientists back home and the rest of the ship here or the science vessel can just you know uh, aut automate itself but apparently it seems that is not the case right now it still needs an empty it, it still needs a leader leader slot to function which is not really that good so we now know uh, without a doubt that the thriving biosphere and something unique to earth both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of uh, alien life throughout the galaxy. Yeah, 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 okay. Situation log updated. Okay. Alright, uh... Okay, we have discovered... Uh, yeah, this is really not good. Huh. For example, we joined with the age of the artifacts. They're about 12 million years. So we got the Vatum Star Assembly. Situation log updated. Okay, yeah, right. Um, so we're just gonna go hire for uh, scientists here. Uh, recruit leaders for your empire. Deliver cost. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm okay your with that. Please. Construction complete. So you investigate anomalies and excavate archaeological sites. That is your, this is the primary objective of this scientist. Okay, um, alright, let's start. Cancel this science. Yeah, well, we're gonna automate that one way or the other. Uh, we'll go for investigating those and excavate archaeological sites. So that's gonna be. Uh, now, once uh, investigate anomalies, and the other would probably be excavate the archaeological site. That will be fine for me. So, right, uh, our features here we still lack. Like, uh, okay, so probably we're just gonna start uh, a little bit slow here. Uh, okay, we're just gonna automate this one with. Uh, I don't know, currently set is set to evasive. Yeah, we're gonna go for this one as automated. Okay, sorry, I, I was just checking the battery here. <laughs> the battery of my laptop and see if uh... uh well anyway. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot. It's all... Wait, I still got two minutes, so that's okay. I still got two minutes uh, before I save this one. Yeah, we're gonna go add a little bit of the normal speed because uh, we're not uh, making any progress here in our gameplay. Construction complete. All right. Uh, what do we got? Okay, we're just gonna pause this one. Um, right, district upkeep. We'll probably go for district upkeep. Have their build cost, and then we go for this one. <laughs> Okay, uh, do we have... I'll just go one with this so we can construct a star base of some sort. And one more science ship. So we have a 3 to 3 ratio here for scientists and uh, available invoice to base leader capacity. Yeah. Construction complete. Okay, that's good. 
and we're gonna have um I don't know maybe a con one construction ship okay uh, we're gonna hire one more lavish lifestyle so energy upkeep plus 10 okay 138 yeah I'm gonna hire this one but his di her directive is mostly archaeological sites and research special projects so it's a double purpose so okay I guess uh wait why is my uh okay. we have found an anomaly from time to time our science ships will make these discoveries while surveying alien worlds Anomalies can be researched by a scientist if their skills are up to the task. Yeah, be for now. I, I just told my. Yeah, I don't know why I'm still having that kind of uh, pop ups. But anyway, um, I'm going to save now my. Uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna save now our uh, gameplay here. So we're just gonna call this one. Um, Holy Replicant Empire HRE episode 01 letter A so there we go and I'm going to save this one on my OBS okay so it's already saved so let's continue on with our uh, gameplay so we're gonna go for normal speed here um, yeah I still like the uh, energy well credits done. here the first survey of a star system beyond our own has been completed we now have access to planetary data that the astronomers on our home world could only dream of a mere generation ago. Yeah, of course we're gonna start up with uh, an automated... Uh, now that we have begun exploring our neighboring stars, it might be time to extend our reach. Yes, yes. Um, but for now, I am lacking minerals, so I'll probably have to buy both of these. So we'll have one energy, one mineral... Oh. System okay, so our next uh, objective here will be the standard constructive template so we could, uh, you know, uh, save money or energy credits in building. The supply of minerals, alloys, and energy credits is critical to the well being of any interstellar power. We should take steps to increase our production of these resources far out. Okay, uh, right now, could we colonize this one? We should now be ready to extend our great civilization to a second world. This will require the construction of a colony ship. Yeah, yeah, of course. System survey complete. Okay. So we got, uh... So we got three starships, we got three, uh... Wait, um... Okay, uh, what do we got? Anomaly found. Uh, leave it for now. Um... Probably go to Cirrus. Because, uh... It is strategically has a habitable planet, so we'll have to expand it. So our two choke points will be Cirrus and Bernard Star for now. Um... So anyway, this is our whole expanse right now. Uh, we're coming from the galactic west again. Oh, what's this? Uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it and see what, what will happen next with that. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay, uh, what's next? Uh, we'll probably go gene clinics. Construction complete. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay, we're kind of fast with uh, comes to research. Um, um, great. Uh, well, what will we do next here? We'll probably go with the. Uh, yeah. Okay, so when it comes to our fleet management, or oh wait, um, do we have a fleet management here? Uh. Yeah, do we have some designings? I mean... <coughs> um. In the fleet manager, we can create templates for our military fleets. Oh, okay. As our fleets grow in size, 
These templates make it easier to quickly order replacements for any losses they may have sustained. All the ships in use within our empire are designed here. New hull sizes and components will be unlocked as we research new technologies. Okay, so ship designer and fleet manager is already been compressed. Uh, back then they had a separate menu here, but uh, it's now uh, joined and uh, the only difference is the tab menus with this one. Okay, that's okay. Um, I'll probably go with... Yeah, we'll go for a one curve bets here just to uh, add our first uh, wrap rapid strike fleet here anomaly found um who's this lane aren't he yeah he was supposed to do that stuff okay start um yeah okay excellent work we now have a strong resource base to build our empire. Right, um... We should go here again. Right, um... Specialist pops output. Construction complete. Construction uh, complete. Interstellar franchise. Okay, fine, we'll just do some this one at a time. Right, since uh, I would probably like a mineral here, so um, okay, uh, that's okay for now. System survey complete. Yeah, we could go here, but this is basically serious, is the important choke point. Okay, right. Um, I'll go for mining station since this is the only one available right now. Okay, this is something. An ancient space station has some kind of located uh, on the <coughs> sorry, at the edge of Nordak system. So it's a gateway. Yeah, that might be proved later on. But uh, the reason why we have I'm still explaining this one why uh, why we have extra uh, gateways in our galaxy here but uh, like I said it's something the to do the spirits have granted us new wisdom it has something to do with the uh, story um right so uh, we'll probably go with research output or fusion reactor um yeah we'll, we'll be with that okay so here's the thing I forgot to uh system survey complete uh, yeah, I think we need at least 200 uh, alloys here. Okay, well, that's okay. Construction complete. Let's see the animations. Um, um, okay, well, just gonna. Anomaly found. Uh, okay, fine, research it. So yeah, I think we got some uh, boost upgrade from our graphics here. Our graphics are playing much uh, better now compared to my previous uh, <laughs> computer. But that's okay. Uh, we'll Construction see. Construction complete. Okay. Uh, right. Right. Okay. We'll be mining uh, bases there. Uh, the other will have to move out here. We're probably spreading our uh, areas here. Uh, let's hope we don't. Oh, ancient survey marker. Short interest has been located on the surface of Nordak 4. It appears to be uh, ancient survey. Okay, fine. So we got a lot of planets here for a small map, <coughs> which is uh, quite fine because um, I don't want it to be a big map. Okay, debated origin. With our recent arrival into space, the different views of our origin are rapidly turning into a schism. Of course, extremist groups are rapidly uh, uh, attract. Uh, what's this? Attracting more clones. Our stra our strong unity is broken. Some view the creators as gods to be worshipped, so they view humanity if gods to be worshipped and obeyed, 
and believe we were made in their image which is uh se well that's the reason why i made the replicants uh empire here they, they have to be on their image they would do nothing except maintain the status quo other curse are ancient masters for their actions labeling them slavers and would see them are uh, repaid in full so this is a good plot actually that i could write on um but uh, i'll have to uh work on that anyway an um, excavation site has been established on earth to verify the facts to put debate to rest but we before we turn to space we should exhaust all immediate possible our nation is old many generations of clones have lived and died here beneath the ancient structures of our home some significant bound to be waiting for us okay um yeah so i have to recall one uh right fine um I have to recall one guy here so his main is excavate the site okay i'll just have to yeah that's her main purpose to discover the uh ancestors or the creators of uh the replicants which is uh, of course we all know story-wise it's actually humanity so uh yeah uh let's see how it goes for now we got uh 200 alloys time to start a new colony uh, this one's not suitable because it has unstable tectonic plates, so basically they get rocked all the time. And this is a choke point, not very good because uh, it's a desert, so uh, wait. And this one is a bit large, but it has a hazardous weather, so they always got storms. But energy credits from jobs is plus 20, so this will probably be a uh, generator districts. Okay, so I'll uh, build this one um, uh, okay uh, yeah this is the fun we'll just go name it Cirrus Prime or something because uh, uh, well I'm not very good at naming planets so uh, we'll just keep it the generic name yeah we'll just name it Theia or something uh, yeah, from the ancient uh, legends of humanity. So yeah, okay, we're going, we're good. <coughs> because if I name the planets in a very unique name, they may not understand it. So uh, we'll just name it in, uh, you know, so that it could be easily be understand. You know, you know, some uh, basic sci-fi uh, rule, I guess make sure that my uh terms are easily understood so we don't want to talk like star trek or something okay uh wait we're just gonna pause with this one so we got this two more we'll go with the upkeep of jobs well if i um i still have to work with my uh alloys here So we got a lot of, uh, so we're gonna go for our, I don't know, maybe we'll just, yeah, this is basically industrial wasteland, but in reality, it's more like the industrial ruins of old earth, uh, made by humans, of course. So we should build one extra here, and uh, one extra here. We don't have any population, so we don't have to go with the food thing. Um, I'm not sure how m we got two temples. I don't think that is necessary. We should replace this one with something more. Oh, okay. Well, we could practice trade. Yeah, vaults of knowledge. So, uh, yeah, this is a very, very, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Lockers cleared. Very important. Construction complete. Okay, um, ruling from Earth. Uh, we have an alert here. Leader pool refresh. Your Emperor, you have new leaders that you can recruit. Yeah, we only have one vacancy left. So, uh, we could go for a general. Um, I like Fawn Voon. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough unity points here to buy her off. So, okay. We'll just uh, proceed with it. So uh, we have a very small empire right now. 
on a, well, anyway, it's a small map to begin with, so, uh, um, we should build a star base here in Bernard Star. Unfortunately, here's the thing, um, I think if I recall correct, uh, the clone origin has a very limited, uh, population if I recall. Uh, geology, okay, fine, we'll have its 22 credits. Procyon, um, right, uh, do your stuff here for research. Yeah, we'll just put in general, okay. We can do all, all sorts of stuff. Okay, uh, Grimacing Planet, special issue Situation cost. Situation log updated. Okay, Grimacing Planet available has one to have science ship. So we'll go for a research in this one. The colonists have all been transferred to the new colony ship. And her captain reports all systems uh -oh. go. A momentous day for sure. Okay, science officer Tuprat Tupra Tuprat Taras is proud to report you that sorry, that was a word bender. Okay, uh Okay, marvelous. Uh System survey complete. We have a colony ship, and we have found at least one suitable candidate for a permanent extrasolar output. Yeah, we're gonna go for an extra solar outpost. Uh, but for now, we're expanding our stellar star bases. We can't really. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay. Uh, how about Yum? No, no, no. We could move here. No, no. We should move here. Okay. Um. Right. We got Ceramo metal. So we're gonna go for mining. So we could have our. Uh, some extra stuff here. Um, probably research will be nice. Let's automate this uh, guy. Wait, wait, wait. It should have. Okay, Alpha Centauri. We should colonize this one, but I lack. Uh, we can just buy some extras here. Um, yeah, we'll just name it Alpha Centauri Prime so that everybody knows what it is. We're just gonna name it generic. Uh, we'll just name, yeah, I guess that's more understandable. We're just gonna name this, uh, on the very near systems, uh, near Earth, we're just gonna name them basically the generic, uh, type. And then if we go beyond, the uh, you know the area here on Earth. Well, uh, um, we'll just have to think of another planet's uh, unique name for a planet. So yeah, that's gonna be the thing. Anyway, let's proceed. Okay, uh, let's see. Anomaly found. Yeah, well, we'll research with that. Right, uh, oh, sorry, I was, uh, I'm not sure if I was, uh, construction complete. Okay, so, uh, I'm just gonna put this one again. Construction complete. Wait, 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 uh, Congratulations on having colonized a new world. Our colonists are now in the process of building their first settlement, but it will take time for them to become self sufficient. Okay, so I do not know if my audio input here is uh, recorded because I just forgot it to be uh, switched on. So anyway, I'm just going to save this one. Um, just give me a moment here. So we'll just put it on to A so we have at least 10 minutes before we save it on uh, letter B. So uh, I'll just cut this one off for a second. Hello everyone, I'm back. Apologies on a while ago. I was not certain if my uh, OBS was actually recording. So, uh, yeah, I was uh, not really sure about that because, uh, you know, I was testing a new system. So, uh, usually I have, uh, you know, I usually use a different type of uh, recorder device and then I just 
more like mesh uh, combined it uh, on my previous works but now uh, I'm using it as more like an integrated type of uh, you know software now which is obvious which integrates my recording so uh, uh, for a second there I thought my uh, recording wasn't getting uh, recorded so anyway let's continue on on our uh, what we were doing uh, a while ago my apologies because uh it's kind of embarrassing because this was uh my first recorded uh playthrough session for this uh, <laughs> uh for this uh empire and then it turns out i wasn't sure if it was recording anyway so uh anyway uh in any case let's proceed and see uh how things are doing So we still are low on alloys here, so uh, it may take a while, I guess. Uh, probably I should have an extra alloy production here. Huh. Okay. Uh, the spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay, so there's some crime here on clones. Uh, okay. Uh, right. So this is going to be Cirrus Prime, I guess, but oh, we're just going to go with that Taya. So I have no idea how we are going to... Uh, well, we do still have precinct houses here, so... Uh, um, okay, so I am not sure. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, we still have sectors here, so uh, let me check with the uh, controls here. Um, the planets and yeah, sector screen uh, provides an overview of all our colonized worlds, their pops, and their resource output. As our empire grows, it can be organized into sectors, which are helpful for administering larger empires. Sectors can be automated here, and if they are automated, they can be given a specialization and resources to enable planets within them to construct their own buildings. Okay, so there has been changes right now. We don't have any specialties now. It's just basically just one big, uh, uh, you know, planet and sector thing here. So, okay, well, I guess... Uh, that simplifies the menu here. To help our new colony along, we should consider the recruitment of a planetary governor to oversee operations there. Well, I would love to, but unfortunately, uh, we have a limit on leaders, which is not really that good. So uh, the head of uh, archaeological site in excavating humanity is the Ilamas Boon. Yeah, that, that's a funny name, but uh, this isn't exactly humans, they're replicants, they're clones. Okay, so we got now our first Ascension perk. The Ascension oh. perks list shows the Ascension perks that we can potentially unlock. Some Ascension perks may have special requirements, like technologies, or having a certain number of already unlocked Ascension perk slots. Uh... Right. Well, we could go for transcendent learning, so we can have a little bit smarter uh, leader pool size here. Or uh, we could go for technological ascendancy. Um, not Lord of War, huh? We could go for nihilistic acquisition because we lack the pops anyway. Uh, because well, they're clones. Technological Ascendancy or One Vision or uh, Executive Vigor but I prefer uh, well we get some 2 liter capacities here which is we need a lot yeah I, I think there isn't exactly a uh, uh, Consecrated Word but I have no idea what this Uh, the galaxy is home to many holy places. As mortals, we still struggle to define it. Uh, I think we'll go with that, but for now we'll go for transcendent learning. Because leaders are uh, kind of important with this new update right now on Stellaris. The 3.9 Kaolium, so we'll uh, just go with that. Okay, we have another ready for colonization. Oh, right. Uh, 
Okay, well, um... Right, um... We'll probably have to go for Starbase here. Oh! The animals here has changed now. It's how, uh, I think, 10? Uh, well, the only thing here is, uh... Well, anyway, since the minerals are quite, uh... Uh, y you know, uh, are... Yeah, we'll just add some ships. Uh, the minerals now here for making a Starbase is quite less. I think it's just only 10 alloys now, compared to back then it was 75. Or, uh, 50, I think. So, there we go. <coughs> okay, that should be good. Okay, uh, let's see. Well, everything's doing good right now. We have everything under control. Although, my... We are uh, spreading our faith to a new world. Alright, we have... Uh, Junak Taurus will be the sector governor. Uh, honestly, uh, this isn't exactly suitable right now for the clones, so, uh... We'll just, uh... System survey complete. You know, the crime here has been bothering me. It's not 12%. Uh, uh, we'll just go replace this one. Um, probably this, because... Well, science is a bit fast anyway. So, they are Alpha Centauri Prime will probably be... A leader in our empire has reached a new skill level. Construction complete. Okay, who's reaching the skill level? Uh, scientist, archaeologist. Yeah, I'll go for this one, archaeologist. Because we need that skill in order to uncover the secrets of humanity. <coughs> so we have a new Starbase 15. Uh, we like 15 influence, so uh, yeah, that's not really that good. Okay, uh, we'll just go automate this guy. So we got a very small empire right now. Our command limit is The 20. spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay, gene clinics. How about off-world trading? Yeah, we'll go for off-world trading for now. So, our expense here is very limited because of, uh... You know, the lack of pops. It's just, uh, Earth. The anyway. spirits have granted us new wisdom. <laughs> Right, um, we'll go for mining, I guess. Or, or research. I think we'll go for research and then we'll go for off world mining. Yeah. So for, uh. Really found. Yeah, research for that. Um. Okay, we got up Swirling Slums and this guy. So we got 3 3 3. So it's a well balance for an Empire Capital. So we're, we're good to go with that. <coughs> I'm not... Um, I'm not sure how many number of uh, cloning bats we can, have, we can have here. I think we got... Uh, I don't know... Uh, four or five, I guess? Uh, let, let's just think about this. Uh, oh, we still got an ancient clone bats. Okay. Um, well, oh, okay, so pop assembly is basically this one. So if I recall correct, uh, this civilization or, uh, the clone army origin can have at least four clone paths. So we can have Alpha Centauri and Cirrus, uh, uh, Cirrus, uh, what do you call this? Alright, uh, Charisma Politician. We're gonna go for, um, what does this mean? He digs upkeep negative 10. We'll go for this one. We, we need the upkeep. So, Sapra Vegan is... Uh, so, we got three unemployed pops. Okay, we're, be, we're clearing that. So, we lack three jobs or worker employment. 
Bristol. The archaeology window shows details of the currently selected archaeology site. After progress is made, you can still go back and read previous stages by clicking the rune icons. Okay, so I guess we'll just name this one December 25, 2207. Um, because, uh, but anyway, it's now time to save this one. Oh, what the? Okay, wait, wait, wait. we're just gonna save this one because it's already 30 minutes. So this will be, um, uh, what do you call this? HRE episode uh, 01 letter B. So uh, I'm not sure why I can't save this one locally, but uh, mm -hmm. okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's con. Uh, well, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna save this one again on my OBS. Right, okay, so we're now on our second. Uh, uh, actually, we're more on the number C now, so we're our final mm -hmm. hour. So it's a good introduction, uh, so we're just gonna answer this one. A central dig site has managed to successfully date the ins uh, installation of one of our ancient clone vats. By analyzing the soil beneath the structure, comparing its density and com composition to that of its surroundings, we have reached a reasonable estimate that it was placed there. We would estimate that the first clones were produced approximately 12 centuries ago, so that's about 1,200 years. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust the, uh, uh, 1,200 years. Yeah, I probably have to, uh, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, that's, uh, that's a bit of a problem, huh? So I have to do a little bit of writing, because it's 1,200 years, so, uh, we only have 2208. So uh, this, uh, by the way, lore wise, we're gonna, so that people and uh, people who are really watching this could not get confused on the timeline on the story. So I'm just gonna put it as an AD for the, uh, you know, marker of time, so it could be more relatable. Okay, uh, okay. <coughs> so let's continue on with our playthrough sessions here. Right, uh, yeah, and there's a lot of background story that I have a lot to cover. Why, uh, how did the Holy Replicant Empire arise? So, anyway, construction complete. Right, uh, which is this one? Uh, yeah, uh, I forgot it's automated. So we'll probably have to build uh, our first extrasolar colony. Oh. This means that if our home world were to spontaneously combust, your species would no longer be rendered extinct. That is a comforting thought, wouldn't you say? Blocker cleared. Yeah, okay, so uh, the first things first, uh, the clones being a way for insufficient clone bats. We probably have to build a clone bat here. Um, yeah, that's the first thing we have to do right now because we're kind of limited on that. So I guess the problem here uh, on having a clone uh, army origin is the main problem I guess is the population. You're very limited on the pops that you can make. Uh, yeah. Probably will go with this one. Yep, we could start with that. So I'm not sure. Blockers what cleared. Um. Okay, so they still have some no progress with this. So probably this will be helpful because. I'll have to draw a timeline on how complete. for the backstory of this uh, empire. Hmm. Okay, uh, we'll just go for mining stations here. Okay, so since we got three extra, uh, three hundred extra alloys, uh, we might as well. 
add three more corvettes just to make sure that our um, rapid strike fleet is formidable so in case we encounter any uh, aliens uh, we're not gonna get uh, you know we're, we're not gonna get to be wiped off the floor so we have a very small empire right now composed of several systems but uh, that's okay <coughs> So uh, there's not much news going on because it's just only nine years. Uh, right, why, why do I have this? Unemployed plus the automatic migrate. Yeah, well, we'll probably go with this one. We need some resources. And I don't know, we'll keep one. Construction oh, complete. Any other rock? What's this? Oh, weigh you. So there's a. Just build a star base there, and. Uh, the faithful have claimed a new world. Okay. Uh, we'll go for uh, improved deflectors now. Since this is a new world. Uh, Okay, we're just gonna rename this one Alpha Centauri. Um, what's a good name for uh, um, old world? Uh, old names of pla uh, yeah, I guess old names of nations would be nice. So we're gonna name this one Wallachia or Gaul. No, you might be confused with. Yeah, well, it's actually futuristic, so this name is basically based on Old World. So they don't exactly know. Uh, the new name of Gold is France, but this one is Gold, so okay. Yeah, that's the new name. So I'm just gonna rename this one. Uh, it's not gonna be Thea. Um, well, we're gonna name this Germania. Germania, okay. All the uh, names. So I System will probably have to complete. look on my uh, uh, on my uh, Google search here <laughs> uh, on what planets I should name them. Yeah, we'll have to finish the clone bats here so that our pops would probably grow. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not going to be limited with that. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I have to train some armies This is here. where we manage all ground forces on this planet. This screen also tracks how much devastation or damage the planet itself has suffered. So this is kind of funny because we have a clone clone army. We have a regular assault and we have a clone clone army. Which is uh, quite cheaper if you ask me. So we'll just... Uh, and it only takes 30 seconds. So we're gonna clone the clone army. So yeah okay well that will be fine. So we need that, I guess, as a... Uh, uh, this is an ocean world, a very small ocean world. Uh, Auto-designated. Construction complete. Um, this will probably be, since we got an energy, so this will be a generator world, which... Yeah, has uh, quite tons of... Uh, for Earth, um... I don't know, it doesn't really have a designation. Oh, okay. Resource extraction domain supply and sir. Uh, right, um... There's a vast complex of government. We're gonna go for Empire Capital with this one. Since it is technically, uh... Complex government buildings, bureaucracies, and agency headquarters, yeah. That will be the main go- uh... <coughs> the main thing so for goal um, this is engineering research so I don't know uh, we'll probably designate this one as uh, well we could go for industrial world factory world because uh, 
because factory world is more like a balance of forge world oh wait wait it's supposed to be yeah uh, i think i made a mistake with that it should be an industrial world because it's a mix of forge world and factory world it's an in-between thing but uh right now i kind of lack so we're gonna buy a few districts here okay so that should do the trick okay so there's no action right now wait wait um i'm still struggling on this new features to be honest you have oh okay so they just refresh a new set of uh leaders probably some leaders have already died but this one is okay uh, yeah right so we got some unemployment pops for germania but uh i think uh <coughs> yeah okay uh what's this uh holy replicate empire yeah i haven't been building uh, to be honest any system survey complete yeah right um system survey yeah i think i should not uh, spread a little bit my empire shouldn't sp spread out a lot because we'll have a problem defending it later so we'll choke points will probably just we use system and this guy um yeah okay so they're kind of busy doing their stuff construction complete okay good uh we'll probably have to go here wait 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 not exactly uh just this guy just here uh go here uh to be honest uh -huh. so how is the progress of digging uh human uh i don't know human something okay so we got a new um traditions here so we'll go for any expansion harmony we could go for expanding but i think we should focus on supremacy here or unyielding we could go for genetics but uh, advanced for species modification allows the simulation of pops in or out of a hive mind we'll probably go with this one later on but for now defense and security is uh, is the priority of the uh, regime here that the uh, I mean our priority of the theocracy so yeah. council agenda available okay what's the council agenda we have six, five months well yeah well it's not really that uh, Okay, well, well, it's not really available anyway. How much, even though we wa we want it. Okay, uh, right. So where was I? Yeah, we should. Oh, we lack thirteen of influence. All right. Okay, so people are not happy because it's always shaking here. Travel our account to go. Yeah, well, I can't blame them because uh, it's always shaking. Alright, uh, we'll add more. The goal will be a uh, new industrialized center for the uh, Replicant Empire here. So we got our new choke points here. Way you jumped in. Uh, and quite frankly, uh, we should. Uh, right, uh, I forgot one thing. We should build an upgrade of our base here. Uh, kind of, yeah, I, I almost kind of forgot that part, to be honest. So, in the meantime, I'll also be adding a Corvette. So, we could have at least a strong Corvette 
uh, Corvette fleet here. So rapid strike fleet here has a capacity of at least 20 Corvettes for an entire fleet. So I'll probably have to... Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, alright, uh, we should build another one. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, we got some pops here for industrial. Okay. So that just, uh, that would be some pops in uh, making alloy production. Alright, for now we lack the influence, but uh, we're doing good here. So, uh, there's not much action, uh, and we, uh, we're just probably just 12 civilizations here in the whole galaxy. Construction complete. Okay, wonderful. So, we'll just begin our starbase here. Uh, we'll probably go for Anchorage. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. We're gonna go this and then um right i guess we need more alloys to be honest and palkion so unfortunately that's the problem with uh, limited population when armies are ordered into space they automatically embark on these transport ships make sure to protect them since they are the quite defenseless so this guy gives monthly energy credits plus eight yeah we'll go with this guy Yes. So he's uh you know, he's our uh the what do you call this? Our uh The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay, uh yeah, I'm kinda get overwhelmed now here. We'll probably go for Yeah, hull points for frigates and for um yeah, this is kind of a bit of a challenging right now. So go will probably have an extra uh, um, extra district again. And we're gonna produce on Earth two more armies. So uh yeah. That should uh, do the trick. And uh we have to have okay what's this we got the vote on trade post uh yeah this is something uh some small bottom up was where they traded several neighboring civilizations at some point fascinating situation log updated <coughs> but right now we don't have enough resources just to fit uh build that but uh that's okay so we have only a small empire right now with a very small and capable fleet. Okay, so we got some breakthroughs here. An archaeology site in our empire has been fully excavated. Okay, uh, what's the uh, progress? One of the excavation sites has reported the discovery of old replicant-like fossils, very old fossils. They were found in and around remnants and what is presumed to be a primitive homestead. Apparently, both the fossil and architectural predate the construction of our ancient clovats by more than a millennium. So if it's 1,200 plus, so it's about 2,000. Oh, okay. Well, I, I have to uh, make that on the story wise. <laughs> Initial DNA sequencing has confirmed significant similarities between our genetic makeup and that of the fossilized matter, and has been concluded that the remains belong to our ancient predecessors <coughs> from before we were clones. This puts things into perspective, which is interesting. Okay, uh... Wait, is she finished? Oh! Okay, there's a situation, uh... Okay, so, uh... I guess it wasn't, uh... Okay, 
Okay, so I guess it was an issue, so it will just add probably two here or something. I don't know. Uh, okay, so I guess the archaeological site here has already been easily finished. Without ever... Uh, huh. Okay, well, uh, that's a thing. So we're we'll just gonna go for, uh, you know, researching the anomalies there. Ah, uh, right, this is the problem. Right, mining stations. Uh, okay, so this is the thing. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> News of the uh, excavation findings proving that our species was once a primitive people on Earth is beginning to spread. It is difficult to deny the obvious conclusion genetically modifying a primitive species such as our forebears, a species already suited to each war, serves a specific purpose. Our creators remade us to die for their cause. They uplifted us to fulfill their needs, never to prosper in our own terms. Is this really the history we want for our people? There is ample opportunity to rewrite our past. So I guess uh, uh Okay, modifier debated origin. No, we shall face reality or uh we were made in the image of creator. Both of these are honestly to be uh uh both of this is uh, valid um, the, yeah it's really having I'm really having uh, trouble uh, finding this one out conclusion genetically modifying a primitive species for various uh, species already suited to each one our creators who made us to die for their cause they uplifted us to fulfill their needs never to prosper on their own terms uh. Meaningful or oh, this one's a lie. Okay. Well It will give us unity and jobs for plus 20, but in the return uh, This is quite a very very hard, but I think it would be best that we should not lie about the general uh, Clone public so we just gonna go with this debated or yeah, no, we shall face reality so I guess that puts things into terms. Um, honestly, I don't know what will be the uh, end result of that because I just played the clone uh, army origin for the first time. Oh, what's this? Uh, so on April 1st, 22 or 2212, a number of high-ranking officers have taken it upon themselves to publicly acknowledge their approval of our leadership ethics. In a wild broadcasted message, they salute the bravery and wisdom it took to be faithful about our past and the faith home shown in them and the replicant people. They are strengthened by our readiness to face the past and it has allowed them to face the future in courage. People all over are celebrating in agreement praising the decision that was made. So we just only get half of the happiness but we did get a good approval with this. Okay, well at least uh, it's not really that uh, bad, but it did end up well. It did boost it up the uh, Matrix Sapro Vegans, uh, no, uh, despite being a dictator, uh, it did boost it up the confidence of this uh, dictator, or dictators, I, I don't know what you're gonna have to call this one. But they do have an honorable leadership, which will expire in 10 years. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, that's not really much of a gain, to be honest. Okay, well, uh, let's proceed with this one. I hope... Yeah, I still lack... Um, okay, we'll just go with this one and have an additional mining station with this. Construction complete. Okay, wonderful, but the... Uh, wait. Okay, so we do have an extra uh, mining thing here. 
Anyway, um, I'll probably have to update this one as well. Or upgrade this one. And in the meantime... Oh no, okay. So our Rapid Strike Fleet is about 9 Corvettes now, so... That's not bad, to be honest. Okay, Alpha Centauri uh, base... Uh, yeah, we'll just go for the crew quarters, because we need that. I have no idea what this. Low stability under 25, because this is something about the pops, I guess? Oh! Okay, uh... Right, um, we'll just... I don't know, build some more, I guess? Oh, we still lack 9. Okay, wonderful. So, uh... Oh, I guess there wasn't any housing on this one. Okay. Uh... Right. For as long as we replicas have been able to hook the stars for our home, Proxus... Please hold in. Hmm. Entirely <coughs> locked, frozen healthcare, a theory which we have confirmed today. There is some, however, that this world has been beginning with blocks necessary to have Okay, so it has been a candidate. Actually, we all got the same thing here. Well, we just go with Construction this one. Construction complete. Right. And here's the thing. Yeah, I do get this one that we have a low stability with this. So we lack 14 minerals, we're just by 14 minerals. So there, I guess that solves the problem of our, uh, of our, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I guess that solves the problem of our, uh, of our, uh, what do you call this? Of our, uh, stability issue, uh, I mean, stability of the planet. So, okay. So hopefully Germania has a new, uh, city district. Goal, on the other hand, seems to be doing fine. Uh, I'm just gonna automate one here. Okay, so, uh, we'll probably have to make two star bases here. But, uh, well, we still have a star base capacity of two, so... Okay, we had an event here. Um, clone fertility. It is thought that we were once capable of independent reproduction. However, experiments to reclaim the capability have consistently failed, including those successful on other creatures of our home world, including... Huh. Progress has far for a long time been a standstill until now. Huh. However, experiments to including a successful one. Or okay, well, anyway, an unlikely discovery has brought our scientists hopeful. A cipher hidden in the qu quantum biocode of the ancient clone rat. It does an air believe to be govern our genome's potential procreation. Situation log updated. Okay, well, this is interesting. Uh, we should. Yeah, we could go with this one. It should be, uh, y y you know, would be the main focus right now, the clone arm here. So right now we're kind of low on minerals, so uh, I think we should need, um, uh, I think we should need a mineral world, to be honest. Problem is, um, yeah, I think we're all just gonna change this one designation for a uh, mining world. But I lack minerals right now, so... Yeah, I think we're just gonna go... This will be designated as, uh... I don't know, uh, industrial world probably or mining world. Either mining or generation. Construction complete. Okay, so it's almost uh, 30 minutes now, so I'm just gonna save this. This will be HRE episode 01 letter C. So I'm just gonna save this one with the OBS and we're gonna move to our uh, final 30 minutes of our recorded Let's Play. 
okay there we go so we've already saved the uh we've already saved it on obs so we're now moving on to our final uh 30 minutes here right uh construction oh, complete okay. okay i get it we lag again our voice But we do have no car base in here. So we're just gonna add more Corvettes. Ah. Oh. Okay, in search of the benefits of this time. I don't know what happened here, but uh... Yeah, I guess we have some problems right now. I'm gonna go for the... Fleet in Fleet Manager, we can create templates for our military fleets. As our fleets grow in size, these templates make it easier to quickly order replacements for any losses they may have sustained. Yeah, I'll probably have to go with that, so it's 20 uh, Corvette fleet right now. Right, um, I'll probably have to go with this. Anomaly uh, found. Okay, uh, research. So we'll keep our science vessels uh, busy and uh... Empire yeah. sprawl is a measure of the territorial expanse of your... Okay, so I probably have uh, reached the maximum expansion of my territorial sprawl, but... Yeah, there's a lot of things here. Oh yeah, one more thing, we could have um... Wait, um... Okay, so all of our science vessels here are busy right now. So, I guess they can't be, uh... Right, um... Yeah. We're gonna go... Um... Oh, right. Okay, well, at least we got some mining factories here. Yeah, I think uh, we kind of need minerals first, so we're gonna go through that. Meantime, here. Situation log updated. Uh, right. Uh, low amenities. Low amenities on what? Okay. Uh, right. We got a ship fire here. We got naval capacity. Um, I think we should go for this one. Uh, building cost first. Right, uh... Wait. Um, we're just gonna click on reinforcements here. So, Procyon Starbase, um... Okay, we got a Volvotum satellite. Situation log updated. But we're gonna research that later on. Oh, great. Should have. System survey complete. Yeah, we'll probably go with this one. got low stability because it's uh hmm. yeah we'll go finish with this one with some entertainment or something while on earth uh there's some unemployment pops here um but uh okay we got some trades here uh minister of defense aggressive trade we'll go for here because we could uh, regenerate and repair our troops okay right um Cirrus is already a shipyard if I'm oh we still need 72 alloys okay well probably uh upgrade that we need at least three or four shipyards 
and uh, okay, I'll have one uh, one here. Construction complete. All right. Um, okay, that should do the, the spirits trick. have granted us new wisdom. Uh, improved reflectors. Uh, we could go for physics research. So that should do the trick. But for now, it's already 2214. There's still no first contact on an extra aliens so uh, I guess we're doing special good. project complete although there are ruins here uh, that proves and uh, you know that aliens do exist we haven't exactly encountered a live one which is uh, kind of good to be honest special project complete okay astounding okay uh, venerated or we go for archaeologists or yeah, we'll go for this one. Four. Hmm. Uh, we'll go for archaeologists. I Space-faring oh. alien entities that may or may not be intelligent, but let's face it, probably are. Their true nature will okay. remain a mystery this to us until good. we complete the appropriate project to investigate them. I suggest we. Yeah, of course. Uh... We have come into contact with a new entity, perhaps a space-dwelling creature or another empire. We can learn more about them by making first contact. Uh... Sapra Vegan, this one is Sapra Toros and Tupra Vargas. So we'll probably go for Tupra Vargas here. So there is some investigation regarding on 2215, January 16, on some aliens. And uh, hopefully it's a peaceful one. Yeah. Okay, so first, con uh, first contact is much more. Uh, well, let's just say, uh, you know, um, I was expecting that it would be at least next gameplay, but turns out uh, the gameplay was much sooner. So Wayu will probably be a defense. Uh, oh, we still like 79. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess that's a bit of a problem for me. Mm, right, well, I guess it's gonna buy... Oh, okay, I guess that's a problem if we only have one cloning vat. It just basically replaces the populations. Um, for this one... Construction complete. Okay, um, where is this one? Sirius Station. So this is designated to be um, a shipyard. Okay, uh, Junak has leveled up. So we could be shipwright. Uh, because it takes only the Kandani assigned to a council position. Uh, governor class. Well, we're gonna go for shipwright. So I guess all is well. We have a small sizable empire right now at this point. Although it's still limited with the population because that's I guess the main challenge of the uh you know having a clone army origin to begin with. You have very limited number of uh folks or uh manpower. <coughs> okay, we got a terraforming uh candidate, but uh that's not uh that's not exactly that important. Um, okay, we've got Germania here, but I have no idea. Capital building. Okay, but uh, we kind of like the minerals. Yeah, okay, uh, we kind of have to Construction maximize complete. the uh, 
Right, we got this one. Certainly gone now. It is clear the way it was at some point inhabited by the seven species. Ruins uh, have been found as an industrial civilization on cups of FTL space flight. At some point, however, this civilization was stuck with a planet wide calamity and totally extinguished with a little more than a bubble uh, remains. There are no signs that any protective measures were taken. Okay, uh, yeah, well, let's just keep digging for this one. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna check on my batteries here. Alright, let's uh, resume on what we are doing here. So, for now, uh, we just simply lack the minerals here. And uh, we're just gonna go for mining districts, unfortunately. Construction complete. Uh huh. Right. Uh. Yeah, I guess System that's the thing right now. Complete. We kind of lack the minerals. Uh. Currently, my science vessels here are all moving up north. I'm not sure, but uh, I guess that's the problem if we let our. Uh, you know the gameplay here on auto. Cancel agenda ready. Oh, okay. They're kind of finishing the cancel agenda. So we got one extra. Wait. Um. Cancel agenda. Unlock one counselor slots. Okay. So minister of ascension, keeper of the vaults. Uh, basically, it's the sub of a science. But yeah, we could go for keeper of the vaults. So it's good, uh, there, more or less we'll probably have to do this one because he's in charge of probably reverse engineering all the knowledge for humanity, I guess. Okay, well just, uh, who's available here? Uh, we could hire, we got an extra, uh, vacant guy here. Uh, scientist, Jopra Pok. That's kind of funny name, but okay, we'll just take that. Uh, this one has some s s uh, competence, leader trait, um, discovery, or archive. Huh. Well, this one is ten. We we'll go for twenty. Yes. So that's our new uh, science guy, girl now. Uh, display power will know. Evolving society. Ideas and theories for new ways to improve ourselves must be. Uh, military build up. I could go for display of power. Yeah, I guess that's. Or evolving society because we're just, uh you know, kind of discovered what humanity is. So, anyway, th it doesn't have anything wrong in it. E all of it are valid, so right now at this point in the story. So anyway, let's continue. Yeah, well, he, she's the leader of the Viped Strike Fleet. So, here's the thing. Uh, we probably have to strengthen our uh, fleets here, so he's gonna get a new war corvettes. So we'll still uh, do the same thing here. Um, unfortunately, most of these. Well, let's just move here. Okay. Uh, right. <laughs> okay, uh, well, uh, so far, how's the progress? So we got 20 seconds for a breakthrough chance. And we got some head research here doing something. So veteran level reach. Uh, we'll probably go for... Uh, research speed will probably be... 
our head of research, so we'll just go make him a researcher. Well, it would make sense if he's a researcher because uh, he's head of research anyway. But for now, we're lacking of food, which is not good. So we we'll probably have to set um, an old some sort of farm here. Well, this oh, it's a incidentally we could. Oh, okay. I need a hundred and eighty uh, alloys there. Okay, we're just gonna have to go get. Oh, um, probably have to spread my vaults here. System survey complete. Okay, Sateria has been fully surveyed. Huh. Okay, so I guess it's down. Uh, Well, we could not demolish this one. I think we could just replace this one. Construction complete. But right. Um, Construction complete. Okay, so we finished that, which is good. Uh, for now, we can. Uh, yeah. Okay. Not really that important to be honest. Uh, we'll just go build a. Uh, oh wait. Um, yeah, this is kind of tricky. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. So we have physics research here. Uh, we'll go for fusion reactor. Um, much more. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's much more progressive. Uh, for Germania, we'll have our capital here. But uh, right now, um, we have some problems because, yeah, I know it's kind of valid, they kind of hate me for that, but uh, we have to have city districts, I guess. Okay. Construction complete. Uh, I guess this is a bit more challenging because uh, I have a very limited number of pops. Uh, wait, what's this? You have more leaders ready to put on work. Yeah, I know. I got. A, I still have one spare. So we're System still. System survey complete. Yeah, they are guarding in the spacecraft that was reported in Navi. If the vessel is an emissary, it was unknown to us. Okay, keep at it. First contact. So they're gonna be a horse instinct. Mm -hmm. So for now, we're kind of low on food, but uh, yeah, well, uh, that's the thing. But we're gonna go have a lot of our rapid strike fleets here. Mm -hmm. So that should complete our fleet of uh, rap. That should complete the uh, number of required ships for the rapid strike fleet. Well, after all, our requirements here should have two fleets. If we have 20 per each fleet, and our capacity is about 40, so it will be, I guess, uh, two fleets. Okay, well, we have... Okay, we're just gonna go for planetary administration. Construction complete. God, all of this uh, planets here are basically 20% uh, habitability. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. So we're gonna go for robot assembly plans because we need a few robots to help out the task. Yeah, well, well we kind of need the robots to begin with. But we still don't have droids, unfortunately. So I guess that's the thing, we need droids to support the clone army. Um, this one is still busy excavating. So we use star system will probably be a most ideal uh, base to upgrade because it will be a choke point. Same goes with this, the OSAC. Uh, Labyrinth of Death, beneath the ruins of the largest city, an amazing discovery was made on an artificial under the complex immense proportions was detected by the surface penetrating sensors. 
highly elaborate in design and ceremony in nature. Two large moons of Wei Yu exert exceptionally powerful tidal forces so strong in fact that they affect the motion of magma currents in the planet's core. Okay, keep digging. Okay, Germania, it has seven amenities. So we'll just keep them, I don't know, um, we'll go for gene clinics, but hollow theaters would be nice just to keep those folks from not uh, rebelling against the government. So hollow theaters it is. So we're now on negative six, so we're kind of short on food which is problematic. So we'll probably have to colonize this one. Yeah, I guess this is the next habitable thing. Okay, uh, where is this located? Situation log updated. Oh, I guess in Chiblar system. It's leveled up. Okay, it has leveled up, so what should we go? Uh, so we're up to, we're gonna go, I guess this has a lot of perks, so we'll just go with this. Construction complete. Right, um, we have made first contact with a different type of civilization. Okay. One which is generally unwilling to engage in diplomacy with others. Yeah, you don't say. Apparently it's a, a stagnant ascendancy here. And they are militant isolation. Basically they're the cockroach empire from the looks of it. Uh, they're the Pitfox Shard. Pitiful creatures, we know that we roam the stars for eons before your hapless species mastered spaceflight. If any of our wretched little ships cross into our space, we do not expect. Okay, fine. Uh, we're just gonna go. I don't know. For now, um, any confrontation with this empire is not exactly good. So we're gonna play it cool. Okay. So news have been encountered. Intelligent life. For the first time has been achieved with the mixed feelings for our populace. This confirms that we had long suspected. We are not alone in this galaxy. Each new alien species we encounter represents both an opportunity and a threat. We must be wary. This particular Xeno appears to have been an active on the galactic stage for some time. Their empire is slightly thousands of years old and their technology is ahead of our own. We should be careful when when dealing with them yeah so uh okay so we're not gonna go with this because uh probably we should stay here in Chiblar or something okay noble privilege vanguards uh we already have founded some parties here uh, a new faction alliance of true gospel and the march of the brave which is probably i guess this is a militant so yeah um yeah we'll probably have to hire another council uh expansion for that uh probably on the leaders no 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 uh sorry about that um uh government i guess so we should have an extra guy here or girl here because we have the keeper of the vaults for the humans and we have a religion I guess that's the five pillars of uh, the replicant society here I guess that's what uh, I mean that's what I think anyways so anyway let's continue um, we're just checking some stuff anyway so uh, we're still limited to three planets because of the populist thing. Our next here would be the Nordak. But I'm kind of hesitant because... Uh, yeah, okay, uh, Nordak Prime. Okay, uh... Construction complete. What's the next good name for an old... Yeah, I'm just gonna name this one Wallachia. Actually, I got this name from Castlevania series. Okay, there we go. Wallachia will be an agricultural world. 
Um, if I construction complete. Oh wait, wait, wait. I think there's a. Oh, uh, we got a ton of agricultural worlds here. I guess the most suited would be on Prokeon. Fortunately, it's just twenty percent habitable, so it's not really that uh, you know uh, good to be honest. Well, anyway, at least we got no problems here. We're not expecting uh, um, what do you call this? We're not gonna expect some aliens here because system survey complete. This uh, part is guarded by this one. So we can only expand either north or south. We can't ex expand on the east. System survey complete. Okay, uh, overwhelming force. We could do that. But we're gonna go for ship upkeep and naval capacity. So we're gonna create a new fleet here. Um. Wait, there was a button. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so we just have the gel cans in class. So we'll probably have to hire a new admiral, I guess, or something. But we need, uh. I don't know, uh. It's kind of difficult that we have a limit here on the leader capacity. Oh, Thinking Star. Uh. Yeah. Oh! Oh my god, we got a Stellar Devourer here. So within May 7, 2219. We're just, it's eating. Uh, wait. Where is this located? Oh, okay. So, um, oh, okay. It's fleet science is evasive. Okay. Our science ship is beset by enemies. Holy crap! He just, she just died. Von Vegan. Uh, friends to test our fate. Uh, right, so how's the government? Well, we got one less uh, science vessel, so we got a vacant because he, well, she kind of died. So this is close to any uh, replicant uh, ship, military or civilian. We got a new leader here. Um, who is more beneficial? We'll probably be this girl and continue on her things. So for now, this is a no access uh, star system for now. Oh, look at the time. Uh, it's um, I guess that concludes our first recorded let's play or new let's play session here in Solaris featuring the uh, Holy Replicant Empire. So I'm just gonna save this one before we end our uh, recorded let's play. So for those of you who are watching this, thank you a lot and I'm just gonna save this and we'll see you around on my uh, next recorded let's play while I'm still writing the uh, plot for this uh, story. So bye bye for now. <laughs>